Hello, my witchy friends. It's Vicbury ASMR. And I love thrifting. And sometimes you can find really amazing things, witchy things. If you look closely enough. So, let me show you some of the little tchotchkes and trinkets that I've picked up over the past couple of months. Now, the first item is not really Love to know in the comments below what your favorite Ghibli movie is, or if you've seen Kiki's Delivery Service, if you watched it on tape. Let's open it up. Something so satisfying about opening this up. Do we get them crinkly? Just tape container noises, and then there's the tape itself. Am I right in saying it doesn't look like it's no, it doesn't look like it's been rewound? I was looking at it mirrored, so I wasn't certain. But there's the tape. I really miss. Analog media. There's something just so magical and physical about holding things instead of just like streaming them on a streaming service. So I will add this to my collection, and uh, I know that it is somehow more magical to watch movies that were released on tape. Kiki's delivery service. I got this for a dollar. So, pretty good deal. Made me very happy, and I can't wait to spend more time with Gigi and Kiki. So, got these beeswax candles. 
in this beautiful purple color. I often thrift candles. Um, if you like go to a Goodwill or a Value Village, depending on where you are in the world, sometimes they'll have them in little bags. And I got this set of three for, I think, 50 cents. And they're like actually wrapped, as you can see by the, the ends of the beeswax candles. So I like to have candles on hand for use in my videos and also um, for use in my altar. My altar is in my heart. So, like, you know, you can burn quite a few candles in there at once, and it's nice because they filter out through the top of the fireplace, so not as hard on your lungs. But I thought it might be fun to show them to you because they make really interesting sounds. I'll be using these really soon. I thought it might be interesting also, maybe, if I use my nails. Bring it closer to the mic. Not as exciting. So I got one, two, and three beeswax. Lovely purple color. Okay, I also got, and this is like entirely bizarre, but in the little like grab bags that were up on like a pin board, I got an entire bag of miniature picture frames. Now, why do I need a bunch of miniature picture frames? You might be asking. I mean, they're great for arts and crafts. These kind of, like, if you look at the stripes on them, they look like they might be from the 80s, maybe? I don't know. But, um, yeah, like, it's nice to have these in your altar. Maybe if you're doing spell casting for a loved one, you can put a picture of them in there. Um, I mean, it's great for gifts. I love to thrift gifts. And, um, like, you remember there was a time when people would, like, give you wallet photos, and then you would keep those photos in your wallet. It's kind of almost like the perfect size for a like a photo of someone um, graduating or a school photo, but um, definitely could have some witchy purposes. And I just couldn't believe there were so many of them. They even have like a hanger, so you could do a gallery wall of just a million little minuscule, tiny little framed photos. So that was, I think, $2.99, and there's more than what I've showed you in this bag. I've taken a couple out and used them already. Um, but, like, I love finding just random stuff like this. And if you ever have crafting ideas, it's, like, kind of fun, kind of exciting. Okay. These showed up in my recent video, but I collect brass. <laughs> I love brass. And I was looking for a really long time for a good candle snuffer. And so these aren't scissors. I mean, they are. They look like scissors. But they're actually candle snuffers. And so you catch the flame 
inside this tiny little pocket here. And then you close the contraption like so. And then that's it. Your flame is snuffed. So, I mean, I got them for the novelty more than anything else, but I thought they were really, really pretty. So, I have them in my curiosity cabinet. And I actually do a tour of my curiosity cabinet if you'd like to watch. I think it's my favorite video that I have ever made. So, I will link that one in the video and in the description for your viewing pleasure. But that's one of the brass pieces that I have recently thrifted, and I absolutely love it. And then I have a second one to show you. And it's very, very tiny, but it's super heavy. It's a little brass bird. I also have him in my curiosity cabinet, and he's just adorable. I love all the little details on his face, and he kind of looks like like a Snow White bird or something, like out of a Disney film. Um, absolutely love the way that this guy looks, and so also in my curiosity cabinet, but wanted to show you just how impossibly tiny this little guy is. Okay. For my uh, friends who are into Anne Rice books, um, I got three well-loved Anne Rice trade paperbacks. Um, I love The Witching Hour. It's one of my all-time favorite books. And I'm in the middle of rereading the trilogy, so... There's The Witching Hour, there's Lasher, and then there's Baltos, which is the third one. And then there's a bunch of titles here, so the first one... So the first one is The Mummy. And, um, like, I love how these paperbacks look. Uh, Ramsey's the Great Lives. It just feels like your aunt or your mom had these in their, like, bedroom when they were reading them. Like, there's just this lovely, yellowy, um, kind of, like, edge on the pages. Um, these are really delicious reads. By no means educational reads, but, you know, witchcraft historians have to have a break every once in a while and read something for fun, but yeah, the queen of like gothic kind of horror with an inflection of mystery, I highly recommend reading Anne Rice if you have not read her before. So this one is The Mummy, and then we have The Tale of the Body Thief, and see this one came out when she just put out Lasher to critical acclaim, um, and this one's one of those fun ones that has, like, the peekaboo style. It has, like, those hot pinks and flaming, flaming golds and oranges. Number one national bestseller, and, like, these are such vibrant colors. It's the main selection of the Book of the Month Club. I haven't read this one. Again, I'm just really familiar with, like, The Witching Hour, so I thought I would just pick up whatever they had. And then here is Taltos. Now, I have another copy of Taltos, but I just, like, fell in love with how crazy this cover looks. Again, with the peekaboo style, and there's... The Mayfair Witches Manor. Um, if you're a fan of New Orleans, the history of New Orleans, um, and you want to read something like atmospheric and delicious about witchcraft this summer, you gotta read the Mayfair Witches trilogy. It 
it's so, so good. Um, let's see, it says, Taltos is the third book in a series known as The Lives of the Mayfair Witches. Their haunted heritage has brought the family great wealth, which is exercised from a New Orleans manse with southern gentility. But of course, such power cannot escape notice or challenge. Rice is a formidable talent. Taltos is a curious amalgam of gothic glamour fiction, alternate history, and high soap opera. That says it better than I could have ever said it. Uh, intricate and stunning, spellbinding and mythical, her power of invention seems boundless. She's made a masterpiece of the morbid. It says they call her Poe's daughter. So I got these three Anne Rice books, and I'm hoping to, yeah, spend some time with Anne this summer, and I highly recommend that you do as well. Okay, this was not thrifted, so I'm kind of like bending through. I never showed you these. Um, these are some of my favorite little cat prints. I'm Slavic, so like I'm always looking for Slavic inflected art. And so my friend Nora got me two prints. This is by Selen Draws. I don't know if you can see here. Selen Draws. And they do. Um, all sorts of, like, babushka cats. And here is the other one. So this one is meant to be my grayish tabby cat. And look at that. Look at that babushka with the little cutouts for the ears. Just absolutely perfect. I love their faces. They're so cute. They look just like my two familiars. So I have to get little frames, not as small as those picture frames that I showed you, but little square frames and put them up and I'll probably thrift frames for them. So that's one of my favorite life hacks people like, will donate frames that they're, that are, like, there's art in them that they don't like, but they don't keep the frame, and so you can remove or overlay whatever's in there, and then put your own art, and then you're recycling and reusing, so, very cute. I got these a long while ago, but I just thought I would show you now. I also got this beautiful blue bottle and I'm hoping to just put flowers in it um, but it's just like this gorgeous deep blue color and I always like to thrift vases and bottles um, I'm sure you'll see this appear again in a video at some point but um it had, like, somebody had painted on it, and it's starting to come off, so I'll have to remove the rest with isopropyl alcohol or something. Um, but, yeah, it's really, really pretty. I just like it, and it's a nice size, and um, it's in that whimsicott kind of celestial blue tone, so I'm always kind of trying to get an eclectic mix of bottles to use in my witchcraft, spellwork, decor in general. And it just has a standard bottom on it. While I was in the dishware, I also got something else for spellwork. 
So I got a set of three, kind of like Pyrex style, though I it doesn't say Pyrex on them. I don't know who makes them. But three little pinch bowls. And these are really good for when you're doing spell work or mixing a tea blend. Uh, I will use them most definitely in a video sometime soon. But look at that pattern. It's really pretty and very, very simple. Uh, but the set of three was, I think, about three dollars. So they were a dollar each, a little pricier, but like pretty good for, I think, something that was definitely made in the 70s and that I'll use for many years to come. So, um, yeah, a set of one, two, three pinch bowls. Okay, and this is kind of a wild card. I'm always looking for like 90s celestial motif stuff. This is a bit big for the frame, but um, I found a set of two pillowcase covers with that exact motif. See, it's kind of hard to see. Here's the sun. But it's that mottled kind of blue color. Um, and there's always like a happy sun or moon on it that's like sleeping. And so I got a set of two. There were sheets too, but I don't need sheets. So I just got the pillowcases. My dream is to have like a 90s themed bedroom that just has a ton of these motifs. There's always like gold stars and it's always a really deep like midnight blue color or blue bluish kind of purple with stars all over it. So, and you can kind of see the moon here. It's cut off a bit, but there's the eye and the nose, lips, and then the curve of the crescent. Yeah, I am such a big fan of this aesthetic. I mean, I grew up with it, so I guess that makes a lot of sense. But trying to create that um, aesthetic from my childhood in my home. And uh, this one's kind of wild. I don't know what this is. <laughs> kind of looks like stained glass or like some kind of like compassy arrow thing. I don't know. But yeah, a set of two and they were a dollar each. So I got that and they have a new home with me. Speaking of celestial whimsicas, this is the OG. <laughs> I'm gonna do a whole video opening these at some point. Maybe when I reach, like, I don't know, a landmark amount of subscribers. Um, but this is a full sealed pack of Sabrina the Teenage Witch mystical trading cards. And I wanted these so badly when I was a kid. Like, so, so badly. Um, and... I ended up finding them for very cheap um, at a flea market, and it's a complete box, so there's foil packets inside that have never been opened, and it's like a display box, so like this is what would have been displayed in the store, and yeah, I will do a complete video on these at some point, but I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek so that you get anticipated. I also got a bag full of ribbon. Crafting supplies, if you're on a budget, are like the easiest to find at uh, thrift stores. So I got a massive bag of ribbon. This is only a couple of them. 
This is fairly new ribbon, but it has like a fall motif on it and a nice crinkly wrapper. that sound. And then this one is some like quite vintage ribbon. Um, arts, crafts, gifts, and floral ribbons. And I just really like this. It's super pretty. It has this almost painterly quality to it, which I appreciate and love. Um, but there's a lot of ribbon on this spool. It's actually quite heavy. So... I highly recommend if you're into crafting or scrapbooking or anything, really making things, that you thrift your supplies because people will just donate tubs of unused supplies to the thrift store and then you get to use them. They'll probably use these for wrapping presents, um, who knows what else, but um, these, like, I envision many things. This spool of beautiful floral linen. It's really, really pretty. I also have a cassette player and I thrifted some cassette tapes. I have a really big cassette and record collection, and I've always wanted to do a video. Um, so if you'd like that and you've made it to this point in the video, please leave a comment. And if you're new here as well, please subscribe and join the coven. Uh, we are a very friendly and welcoming bunch, and we'd love to have you. So yeah, I have a lot of cassette tapes, and it's because you can buy them for like 25 cents to like a dollar at thrift stores. And so, uh, I have here the Cranberries, and of course they're well known for Linger, that incredible song. This one is To the Faithful Departed. And this one came out, I think, in the late 90s. Um, really lovely and authentic listening experience to listen to the Cranberries on a tape deck. And this is one of my favorite Fleetwood Mac albums, Tango in the Night. Very, very witchy. <laughs> and has some of my favorite songs on it, including Seven Wonders. Music is a really big part of my practice. And I actually often listen to my cassette tape Walkman <laughs> while I do spells and rituals. So. Fleetwood Mac, Dango in the Night, and the Cranberries to the Faithful Departed. So yeah, I thrifted these two guys, and now they're mine. And a while back, a lot of these things are from like over six months ago, I got this tiny little book of Selected Writings by Oscar Wilde. And I just thought that this cover, this Oxford Classics cover, was quite witchy, with the hand extending outwards, and the fan, and the little, the bird illustration. But this is honestly, like, not much bigger than the palm of my hand. So kind of nice when you want to take a book with you in your purse, and, um, yeah, it has a slip cover, and underneath this beautiful binding, which I love when they also print the name of the, the book on the spine, so if you don't want to have the slip cover, you can just take it off and, you know, put it on your shelf like that. But I am a I love using slipcovers. Um, I 
don't know what it is. I just think it's like a little blanket for the, the book. You can tuck them in and go to sleep. Slip cover back on. And yeah, it's it's printed quite small because it, it has to be printed quite small for you to be able to have it be that tiny of a book. But yeah, that is the selected writings of Oscar Wilde, and this was like 25 cents. And it's in really good shape, it's not like yellowy or anything like that. It's very, 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 very pretty. And the last thing I have to show you is quite old, though I did thrift it. Um, but I just thought it made really nice sounds. It's a wallet and it's a well-loved wallet but it has this really pretty rose motif on it something witchy about it I don't know what it is but it makes like squeaky little sounds and I really should get like I really should get a new clip for the inside to keep your cards because I've taped this up so much, but this is like my daily driver wallet, so it has a spacious cash pocket that I almost never use for actual cash, and then a few like card little slots, and then you can put your in this pocket if you like and yeah that's really cute um, but that's everything that I have to show you today for this haul um, thank you so much for being here even if it was kind of like random objects that I've lifted over like the course of like a year um, but I hope you're having a really great week and I'll see you again very soon. Have a rest of all and a peaceful sleep. Good night, my witchy.